Welcome back everyone, uh, just making a quick video on how to send the variables that we capture in this meeting chatbot that we did in the other video, which I will link in the description below, on how to capture the name, email, business name and phone number. This bot was a very basic bot on how to set up a Canonly link so that people can click on it and set up a meeting with you, uh, and how to change their name, etc. in this. That is in the other video, so you can go look at that if you want to watch that before doing this. But what you're going to want to do is basically on this Canonly link, once they've done all their choices, you're going to want to add in um, execute code here. And in here, you're just going to want to edit this. And what we're going to be doing is sending the information in BotPress to make integration. So we're going to be making a webhook. Let me just copy this over now. You're going to have to copy this. So you're going to have to do send variables name and then there's commas in between these, but name, email, business, phone number to make. And then what we're going to do here is add in our webhook. So you're going to want to go over to make and basically create an account if you haven't already. Or you can do this in Zapier as well. Just basically change this to Zapier and copy in your Zapier link in here. It's very similar. Uh, but you're going to want to go over to make, log in, make a new scenario, and then get a webhook. And you're going to want to do a custom web hook. Make sure you don't click mail hook. In this one, you're going to want to add one. So just call that whatever you want to do. But for the sake of this, I should already have one here called meet and chatbot. So once you've done that, you want to copy this address here. Go back to your bot press studio and copy that in at the end. And what that should do is copy in the address. And then it will give name, workflow name email these are just the variables from your bot uh, and then it's going to send this information over to make okay so we're going to click okay on there so i'm just going to have to do read determined data structure but you should be on this screen here uh, and what you want to do is just go to your chat bot and go to a test and just say hello uh, we're just going to say yes we're going to want to book a meeting it's going to ask for our name so we're just going to say matt that wants my email so we're just going to say matt at matt.com and then once our business name, which we're just going to call that Matt YT, and then our phone number, which we can just do any random number. And it's just going to ask us if this is correct, because obviously this is a bit where we can change this. So we're just going to say yes. And that should have captured the variable and sent it over now. So successfully determined, right? So click OK. And then from this, you're going to want to drag out and create a Google Sheet. So if you just type in here, Sheet, find your Google Sheet you're going to want to add a row. And in here, you're going to want to select your email. So before you do that, when before you choose the file, you're going to have to create the file. So I've just called this meeting lead gen. Uh, and I'll give it name, email, business name and phone. So that's the same as what we got. And basically, we're going to be populating this here. So once you come back into your make, you're just going to want to come back into here, you're going to choose your file, which is meeting lead gen, uh, you're going to choose the sheet name, which is sheet one, and then you're just going to fill out the corresponding information. So name, email, business name, and phone is what it's getting from the Google Sheet. And you're just going to want to put these as name, email, business, and phone. And click OK. And then we're going to want to hit this run once. And we're going to want to go back to the chat box. And we are now just going to go through the same process again. So we just want to restart this. And we just want to go, hello, yes, please. We want a meeting. Our name is Matt. Our email is Matt at matt.co.uk. And our business name is Matt YT. And our phone number is this. And we're just going to confirm that that's all correct. Yes. And that's captured the variables, gave us our Canonly link for the meeting, and updated our Excel sheet with all the information that we needed. So that is how you grab the variables from the meeting chatbot that we made, uh, integrate that with Make, and then basically capture that information into a Google Sheet. So you can do this with Zapier as well. It's very similar. Just basically copy the steps. It's pretty much straightforward. I just wanted to do that video for you. So I have done this video for Michael as he commented on the other videos so that will be linked in the description so go check that one out as well uh got some more videos coming up this weekend have a great day and don't forget to subscribe see you later